Alright guys, welcome to your 7th Premiere Pro tutorial, and in this tutorial, now that we know how to apply effects to our video clips, I'm going to show you how to adjust and alter the effects, and it's probably going to take a couple tutorials, so just stick with me. So let's go ahead and apply a simple effect to this video clip. Let me get something that's very apparent, and when I say alright, I probably should mention this first. When I say we're going to apply effect and then we're going to change the settings, you're like, all right, if you have the effect on there, what the heck do you need to change? For example, if we apply contrast to this clip, we want to tell the program how much contrast. If we want to say, all right, tint this video clip blue, we're going to need to tell it how blue or how much blue to add to it. So each effect has a bunch of settings to go with it. So let me make something that's really apparent. So let me go to video effects and let me look for something. Stylize, these are some really obvious ones. And posterize, if I can find it, I remember that one. Go ahead and drag this over to your video clip and let go. And what this does is it takes that clip and it makes it into a poster or at least it tries to. Actually, if you go ahead and turn this off, you see this Red Hot Chili Pepper poster? That's a really good example that this would be what it would be previously, like this Foo Fighters one, a real life photograph, and we would want to posterize it. So this is actually a really cool tutorial in that sense. We're going to turn this into this. So let me go ahead and if we can see, if we maximize posterize, we see a setting called levels. Now it's pretty much saying, all right, how much do you want to turn it from reality into a cartoon? So if we go ahead and give it something like 66, this is getting towards more realistic. However, if we bring down the setting, and by the way, if you hover over it, you can click it and change it manually and hit enter, or you can just go ahead and click and slide left or right like this and it'll change it just like that so for example if we change it to three or four check it out and now looks more like a poster so this is a real quick example of how we can change a setting on an effect depending on what we're going for now posterize to be honest I don't really use a lot this is like kind of an effect you use if you're making a music video in the 1980s or something. So let me go ahead and show you guys how to do some things real quick. If you ever are working with an effect and you're not quite sure if you want to apply it to your final video or not, you can go ahead and hit this little FX button right here. And this is going to temporarily hide it or turn it on. So let's say, uh, do I want that? I'm going to go ahead and turn it off on okay what one looks better turn off and on and off and on and that way you can kinda of see kinda of preview it without having to delete it permanently however if you do want to delete it permanently all you have to do is hover over the name which is in this case posterized and hit delete and there you go your effect is gone for good so again posterize isn't the best effect but let me show you guys an effect that I use every single time on every single video I ever made and that is under adjust if you go ahead and apply levels and I'm just gonna go ahead and drag this to the effects controls and drop we get to mess with all these levels now I only mess with the top two black and white and this is pretty much customizing the contrast of your video now I don't know how good this is gonna pop up whenever I do a YouTube tutorial so I'm gonna kinda blast this out what this is pretty much is asking you is I'm gonna make the dark pixels darker by going ahead and sliding that over to I don't know let me say somewhere around 20 and I'm gonna make the light pixels lighter so this is at 255 which is the very top I'm gonna go ahead and drag this down to 240 or something like that and I don't know how good this is gonna appear let me go ahead and blast this even more on YouTube since you know I kinda have to process this video then upload it to YouTube then you watch it on YouTube so make sure you're watching this on full screen so you can see the difference again you never really are gonna use posterize that's kind of a fun one but this one is really good if you wanna take any video that you filmed with your handy cam and turn it into an instantly better looking video clip let me go ahead and turn this effect off and you see it kinda looks washed over gr glazed gray kinda now turn it on 
and suddenly the contrast just pops out. The darks are dark, darker and the lights are lighter. So again, that's the beauty of levels. And let me go ahead and blast this even more. See, it pretty much lets you customize the contrast. Now, again, I wouldn't ever want to do it this much. This is this is just so I want to make sure you guys can see what's going on on YouTube. But that is one that I use a lot. So, guys, don't forget levels. It will come in handy. So, let me go ahead and delete levels. And if you noticed, before you even apply any effects at all, any video clip you select, has some effects that are already built in and you're saying alright where the heck did these come from I didn't apply these ones well the reason they have these is that they're common to every single file on Premiere Pro they all share the same four basic effects and that's motion opacity time remapping and volume now some things like pictures and titles they don't have volume or audio so they aren't going to be there with this but motion opacity and time remapping is all the same now motion, if we go ahead and scroll down to the sub effects, we can see that it pretty much changes the position of your entire video clip. So you usually just want to leave that the same. However, if you're messing with it and you're like, all right, I accidentally hit something, I got that messed up, just go ahead and hit this button right here and that's going to reset everything to normal. So again, I never really touch motion. Opacity, however, is something that's going to come in handy a lot whenever you're wanting to fade. Now it's pretty much a transparency of your video. Now if we just went ahead and shut off all our videos you would see that it's black. We just have a black video behind everything. So the transparency whenever we put it down to zero it's pretty much going to say alright it's totally see-through. If we fade it up to around 50 then it's going to be able to see some of the black behind it and if you go ahead and turn it to 100 it's going to be totally opaque. So that's what opacity is, pretty much a transparency for those of you guys who didn't know. Time remapping is pretty much the speed, how fast your video is going to play. It's pretty much whenever you're working with slow motion or you want to give it the speeding up effect like a fast forward effect maybe in a car chase scene, this is when you would use that but I really don't like to use it that much. And the volume, of course, whenever you, I don't know, maybe you want to just totally shut off the volume or maybe you're playing a song and you want it to fade in, that's when we're going to be working with these volume effects right here. But for now, uh, I don't really want to get into it into the next tutorial. And then in the next tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to work with something called keyframes and it's going to make it a whole lot easier. So. In this tutorial, I just want to point out that yes, indeed, there are four built-in effects already, and that's what they do. And aside from these four built-in effects, you can also apply other effects. And whenever you do, you can go ahead and change the settings of those effects by just expanding and changing the settings like that. So with all of that that should keep you busy for a while but once you're done messing around with the effects make sure to check out my next tutorial where I'm going to be talking about how to work with keyframes and that's a whole nother world and once we learn how to work with keyframes that's all there is to cover with effects so I know there's a lot to cover with effects but trust me guys just applying some simple effects to your video can make a world of difference between the video quality between something that you go and shoot out and it looks like crappy YouTube quality to professional expert looking video. So I'm going to be showing you some tips later on but definitely stick with me, watch these tutorials and you're going to be a pro in no time. So thank you for watching, don't forget to subscribe and I will see you later.